there. Ah. <clears throat> Almost. Hello? I can hear you. Can help you. Get back! You don't belong here. Listen, I know it hurts, but Malputul. Who are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a researcher, Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. And why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? 
They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You will risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Jonah. Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Etsli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. know your name. I apologize. As the rebel leader, I have to be careful. I am the rightful queen, Unuratu. Etsli, you still owe me a scouting report. Yes, brother. Uh, there was one thing this morning. Yes? I saw Hakan debating with his neighbor. He seemed angry. As I came near, they suddenly stopped talking. Then they started laughing as if one had told a joke. He's planning something. Good work. Thank you, Mother. Hey. Hi. As you can see, secrets don't stay secret for very long by Titi. If you were to deviate from the plan, you'd find out quickly. I see that. She's here to help me find something I lost. You don't have to worry about that. Was father a scout when he was my age? He was a hunter. Look around, he could be. This is a traditional foot plow, still used in the Andes today, even outside Paititi. Sometimes the simple ways are still the best. But he was also very kind. Hey, 
are you? What I saw. He has them. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about it. The cult is increasing its guard. Why? Because of the storms. What can a guard do for a storm? I'll explain later. Beautiful. Greetings. Hello. The market has everything. It's late. I'm sure she has seen many markets before. Outside? Yes. But ours is the best. We're not far now. Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is! I know him. That's Dr. Dominguez. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation! Soon! Our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever! I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. <laughs> Etsley, go scout ahead. We'll meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. <laughs> Follow Esli. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. Amaru is losing his patience. It won't happen again.
Jonah, can you answer? Dr. Dominguez is originally from Paititi. Trinity has had a presence in Paititi since the 1600s. The former leader of the High Council, Gualtiero de Luca Dominguez, an Italian cardinal, saw great potential in a little boy and trained him, like a son, to be his replacement. He moved up in the ranks until he became the leader of the High Council. He has lived most of his life outside of Paititi, returning often but not staying long. His real name is Amaru, but as the High Priest of the Cult in Paititi, many people call him by his honorary title, Kukulkan. He has brought the key of Shakshal home from Cozumel and has assured his people he will use it to protect them. Amaru wants the silver box of Ishel to protect Paititi from the encroaching dangers of the outside world, but already he is being tempted by the possibility of remaking the world in his own image. Uh, me and Uchu set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. I'm not sure. The dialect is familiar, but something's not right. Patoli is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their families' freedom. The god of art and games, Makwal Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change. It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings.
The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost. Itzamna is the son of the Maya creator god, Hunabku. He was the god of education, responsible for inventing writing and books. This made him an essential figure in the development of Maya culture. He was also god of agriculture and created farming. He even presided over doctors, healing people with the help of his red hot hand. Usually, Itzamna took on a reptilian aspect, but he was also known as Kinichahau, a fire McCall, who is the patron of the number four and controlled drought and disease. Haitians made peace with each other and followed Yaska Yahweh, recently acclaimed as emperor, to a site in the mountains to begin anew, certain they will not make the same mistakes as those before them. An Aztec influence mask decorated with items native to the area around Paititi. I don't have enough space for that. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Way. 
have you come here to escape the bustle of the city? I swear, it gets louder and more crowded every day. The people are changing as well. They desire more and more, be it food or clothing or jewelry. Their eyes dart inside the homes of their neighbors, longing for the items they see. No one seems to be able to find contentment with what they have. It's too much. Sometimes I dream of sneaking away, just getting into one of these boats and paddling up the river. I would do that, but this place is all I've ever known. It would be a huge decision. I think I'll need to keep thinking about it. Thank you for listening. I feel as though a cloud has parted. <laughs> Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. This depicts the story of Viracocha, the father of all creation. He formed the heavens, the earth, the sun and stars, the moon, time itself, and all living beings, including the other gods. At first, Viracocha was considered to be the supreme god of the Inca, but with time that honor passed to his son, Inti, the god of the sun. Still, Viracocha retained his link to the sea. His name literally means fat or foam of the sea.
After the long dry season, when the rains finally fell, the rats left their burrows looking for more food. They brought with them pests. Those afflicted bleed from their ears and nose and died in terrible pain and terrible numbers, leaving many once populous cities empty. play together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here, but I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. heavy-breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kwatlikyu, whose name literally means skirt of snakes. She's also called Tetio Enan, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god, Witsli Apokli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It's said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. I'm sorry. No one may enter. This elaborate pipe is sculpted to resemble Shaquatl, an Aztec serpent spirit painted in green, blue, and yellow. Its sides are decorated with semi-precious stones. The inclusion of jade indicates at least a measure of Maya influence. The bowl still reeks of burnt roots and smoke. Not an entirely unpleasant aroma. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then?
You have made an excellent choice, my friend. God's favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. God's favor us both. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I'm always ready to trade. You are here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher in a new world. I don't recognize you. What are you doing here? Where did you get that tunic? It was given to me by Unuratu. Oh, you are the Queen's guest? I meant no offense. Please, you must forgive me. <sighs> it's all right. Don't worry. How may I help you? Very good. 
the gods favor us both. Come back soon. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Mama says it upsets the waterfall's waka if I play in the cave. She just thinks it's too dangerous, even though there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. Born to famine. Raised in rebellion, orphaned but never alone, he rises as the sun.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. these young people crazy these days? I've seen kids scramble like goats in the heights above the village. Scares me to death. I hope you've grown out of your wild stage, young woman. Uh, not quite yet, I'm afraid. Of course you haven't. But you will. So will these children. They will tire of whatever they've found up there, eventually. Mauna Huyuchul Kachili Chupal Sasini Chupal Mesoamerican people use this stone as a tool for processing grain and seeds. I don't know. We're trying to keep a low profile. I would go. Only I can't abandon my post here. Time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Unorato. 29th of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep, for the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. Truilos. I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. I don't think anything could have prepared me for Paititi. You can say that again. Are we doing the right thing here? Well, we have to find the box, right? 